Diane, how's it going? Connor Holt here with Wilson Motor. I'm one of the sales professionals at Wilson Motor here. I'm located at our North Store because here in Logan we have two stores. We got our South Store, the North Store. I am here, which is called the Wilson Motor Pre-Owned Superstore. We have all of our pre-owned vehicles here um, and a few new ones as well. Anyways, behind me here is this 21 Nissan Sentra that you inquired about this morning and I want to do a little walk around video for you. I finally found some time because it's been a pretty crazy day for us. Um, but I have some time to do this little walk around video for you and let's kind of get right to it. So I personally drive a Sentra and absolutely love it. It's a good little vehicle. It's great on gas mileage and it's awesome. This one here is on, honestly is probably one of the, the best we have on the lot that I really like. Uh, being a 21, it does still have factory warranty. Both of the basic, which is the bumper to bumper warranty covers everything inside and outside of the vehicle other than wear and tear items. Um, and also you're gonna have the powertrain warranty on there, which is gonna be the five years or 60,000 miles. The basic is the three years or 36,000 miles. So a couple things to notice here is one, this is an SR. So it's kind of a sportier trim package. You got sportier wheels. You're gonna have like your LED lights as you can see up here. So both the headlights and kind of the fog lights on the bottom there, both LEDs are nice and bright as you can see on that, that video. Um, you are gonna have the newer Nissan symbol there, kind of that flat on there. It's not a big bulky silver one they used to have. You have the honeycomb grill, it's plastic. Um, it's kind of got those lines that kind of it's just a sporty, bold look to it. It's kind of nice. I really like that. It does definitely need a bath. It's got some bugs on the front there. These are the wheels I was going to show you about. Let me get my shadow out of it. They're kind of just a sporty wheel. I think they're really cool looking. Um, if you compare it to mine, I drive a base model that's a 2011. And so my wheels are all just the basic steel that, that rust. And so for me to make it sporty, I had to spray paint mine black. This already has black and the alloy on there. So they are uh, awesome wheels. Or the aluminum alloy there. That's what they are. Really nice wheels, um, ton of tread on these tires too. I'll show you on the other side where the sun's not there so you can see them a little better. Brand new, so you don't have to worry about getting them changed anytime soon. Uh, what's nice is here on the outside, exterior of the vehicle, there's really no scratches or dents or dings or anything like that. So it's honestly like driving a brand new vehicle here. Um, on the back side, what you're gonna look at here, like I told you, it's the, set, the SR, so you're gonna see that here. Uh, you have the center on this side. There are a little bit of scratch on that, that tail light there so i lied i guess it's not perfectly brand new unfortunately it is used has been driven so you have that you're gonna have the center here on the bumper and then you also have four backup sensors here as well um, if you want to get into the trunk you pull the button right here next to the camera and you can see the trunk size it's actually pretty decent size for a trunk right here and you should have a spare tire if i can pull this up right there it's definitely a donut that is pretty small we keep going over here. So you see where the gas is on the right side of the vehicle right here. And to get into it, you got to pull the button in the inside there. Um, if you want to drop these seats here in the back, you're more than welcome to do that too. You got this little button right here. You just pull that and you can drop the seat down and have a little extra storage that way too. Um, pull that seat belt back out. So that way I can pull that seat back up just fine. There we go. Uh, as for different things here, we have one charger here in the back. So the charger is going to be just a USB. You do have one pocket here on the driver's side or the passenger side back seat right there. You go without the, the sun in it. There's nothing on the driver's side, but you do have a little storage on both sides of the doors. And we have a cup holder right here in the middle of the armrest. So if you only got two people back there, it works out perfectly. But like I said, you have a little storage right here on the door. Um, this paper right here just says that as a dealer, we do not offer a dealer warranty but it there does come with a factory warranty on there and we do also sell extended warranties there as well. Um, let me come in here and turn this music down real fast. Forgot to do that when I turned it on. Um, so what's kind of cool about these Nissans is a lot of the vehicles will have the blind spot things on the, on the mirrors themselves. Here instead, you're gonna have them right here on the inside. So right here, this will light up when you have someone's in your blind spot. Same thing on this side of the vehicle right there. So those lights light up and I really love that feature. One of my absolute favorite features. Then let's see, kind of just going from left to right for your bells and whistles to explain how all these buttons different work here for you. You're gonna have your mirror controls, the window locks, the door locks, all four windows here, and the driver's one is automatic. As you can see, it comes all the way down and all the way back up, but just pulling it once. Then you're gonna have the eco button, which kind of helps you to drive the vehicle to better to get better gas mileage. But as you can see with how many people have been driving it, we're at 30,000 as an average right now, 30,000, 30 miles per gallon on average. Um, which is really nice for uh, everyone's different feet driving. It's going to be brightness for this display up here. This is where we set the trips for your different, different trips you have. This is your trunk button. 
and your gas latch right there next to the hood latch. Um, you have your emergency brake right here, and then you push it again to release it. You're gonna have RPMs and engine temperature on the left, speed and fuel level on the right, and all this information right here can change. So you can see miles, we have 26,761 miles on there. It's gonna show you your fuel to empty right there. And all this information, like I said, can change around to a bunch of different different pages there. You got all the settings and whatnot in there, the security or the, the safety features, what you're listening to. On top of that, you can go up and down on different things as well. So it's gonna show you your speed limit signs. So you do have the speed, uh, the speed limit feature there where it will catch it with this little camera up here, which is kind of cool, one of the cool safety features. You also have automated emergency brakes with that camera. You're gonna have the lane keeping assist, I believe as well. You also have the adaptive cruise control, which I'll explain right here in a second. Um, so kind of going back now over here, this is gonna be your headlights and the blinkers on the left side. You're gonna have the wipers on the right side over here. This will be all of your controls for this little screen up here with the volume buttons. And this is gonna be your media controls. Your phone buttons on this side. This will help you activate cruise control. This is gonna be all the cruise control options. And like I said, adaptive cruise control. So if we act activate it, you can see there there's those three lines. Those are gonna be for different car lanes. So what's really cool is adaptive cruise control will actually stop the vehicle for you. So if you do a lot of highway driving, you'll, you'll like this, is it will pretty much match the speed of traffic for you. You can take your foot off and all you have to do is just hold it. Um, it will stop and go with traffic as, as traffic moves for you. So really cool feature, one that I'm really jealous of. I don't have in mind because mine's too old for it. Um, over here, we're gonna have this ginormous screen right here. It's kind of like a mini iPad, which is awesome. Uh, this is all for your media. You have your phone options on there. You have three different radios. You got AM, FM, and XM radio on there. You can do Bluetooth radio with your phone as well as you can do USB hookups down here. You got a USB-C, USB, and an aux cord. You also have a 12 volt charger down there as well. Um, and if you hook your phone up here, this little phone option right here will turn into Apple CarPlay or Android Auto depending on which kind of cell phone that you have. Um, you also have the hard buttons for this. This is touch screen, but you have the hard buttons to change things up there as well. You can go back to the home menu and you can see there's all these different options on that. Um, and you can just kind of scroll and you just slide over. Yep, slide over and you can see different things. You can set it up how you want it to, to look and appear there for you. Uh, down here, you're gonna have your climate controls. You're gonna have these three cool moving air vents right there, plus the air vents on the two sides over here. But these ones are really cool, it's really nice. You can have all three of these pointed at you as a driver, or you can have them all pointed at the passenger. My wife would want them all on her because she's always super hot. <laughs> um, then you're gonna have down here, this is a push start engine, so you can push right there to turn it on and off. This is what the key looks like. You got the remote start, lock, unlock, hold for the trunk, and your alarm. And then this is going to be how you go into gear. So if you have drive, you have the low, you have the neutral, reverse. Reverse is gonna pull up your camera, as you can see there. And then it does have the predictive lines on there. So as you turn the vehicle, it'll show you which way the car will be going as you are driving. Um, and then I feel like if we do the low, oh yeah. So if you go into, on drive, if you push this little button right here, it'll put a little S right there as you can see, and that's gonna put you into your sport mode. And that's where that uh, that trim with the SR comes in because it's a little more sporty and fast. That will help you to have a little faster get, get go, get up and go, and it'll be awesome. Yeah, cup holders here. You do have the carbon fiber, which is kind of cool. So carbon fiber on the cup holders, carbon fiber on the doors on both sides there in the windows. Uh, and you have that in the back as well. Um, you have this pretty decent sized glove box right here. Not a glove box, center console. Glove box is down here. It does have the owner's manual in there as well. So if you have any additional questions, you can always go take back to that. Just a basic rear view mirror to flip it up and down for a brightness thing behind you. You got the sunglasses holder, headlight, or the lights in here in the vehicle. And you have your basic mirror on the back side with a credit card holder right there. And that is this vehicle, man. I don't know I said man. Sorry, <laughs> Diane. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to come and take this for a drive, I would love to help you out any way that I can. Uh, if you have any questions on any other vehicles on our site, I'd love to do another walk around video for you. If you need additional pictures, please feel free to reach out to me whenever whenever you can. Uh, hopefully we'll see you here soon by the end of this week to come in and take it for a test drive or whatever I can do to answer any other questions, please let me know. Thanks and hopefully we'll hear from you soon.